Kinematic knee replacement is a new technique that knee surgeons use to perform knee replacement. With this technique, the knee is restored to exactly how it was before the painful condition had started. For most patients, this means to how the knee was before the osteoarthritis developed. Now you might think, well, uh, that is logical. Was that then not what they did all the time with knee replacement? Well, the answer is no. Before this new technique, which is really recent, this video was recorded in 2024, and even today, 2024, many surgeons still perform the old technique, which is called mechanical knee replacement. In mechanical knee replacement, the knee is restored to this situation, where the leg is made exactly straight, which means that the line that connects the center of the hip with the center of the ankle passes exactly through the center of the knee. We call that line the mechanical line of the leg. That is why this technique is called mechanical alignment, or mechanical knee replacement. And this was done so because for a long time it was believed that this is how a normal knee ideally looks like. The line through the center of the hip to the center of the ankle going through the exact center of the knee. And surgeons believed this was ideal because as such the knee was loaded exactly in a symmetric way. So that both the medial side as well as the lateral side were equally loaded. Now we know however that this assumption is very wrong. And the reason is that many people do not have a straight knee and a straight leg. Some people have somewhat more bowed knees and legs, we call that varus. And some people have somewhat more knock knees and knock legs, we call that valgus. Research has indeed shown that the distribution of knee shape and leg alignment is very variable across humans. You see that in this graph, where you see the number of people and their natural shape of the knee and corresponding axis of the leg. So the number of people with a natural shape of their knee and their leg that is exactly straight represents only 15% in the normal population. On the left of the graph you see the people with natural bow legs. That is a much bigger group, 62% of the population. On the right, the people with natural valgus knees. You see that they are somewhat less frequent, but still 23% of the population. So when you see this graph, you realize that when you restore in all of these patients the knee and the leg to perfectly straight, which is here, for a large majority of patients you bring their knee and leg into a condition that is very abnormal and unusual for them. And this is where this new kinematic technique is different, because it restores the knee to its exact original situation as before the painful disease or condition had started. So for each patient individually to the exact situation as it has always been before. And the good thing is that the results of this kinematic technique are very promising. Which is kind of logic. Because if you can reconstruct the knee exactly as it was before, then the kinematics that are the moving patterns specific to that knee and that patient are restored as well. That is by the way why this technique is called kinematic knee replacement. Because it restores the normal kinematic axis. Which is not the case with the older technique the mechanical knee replacement, where indeed the drive is from a more mechanical perspective. You see that here. This is a graph from a recent publication summarizing the current results of kinematic knee replacement and comparing them to mechanical knee replacement. And you see that the forgotten joint scores, that are scores that tell you how normal the knee feels to a patient, these forgotten joint scores of patients that had a knee replacement with the kinematic technique are in favor when you compare them to patients that were operated with the mechanical technique, where the scores in general are less favorable. Of course, these data are still fresh, but it is definitely an important evolution in how knee replacement is performed, which is very promising and which is gaining worldwide enthusiasm. Thank you for watching. <music>